my Surumi tabletop tripod just got replaced. What's up guys, Eyes here of Cause Now Eyes Can. Thanks for visiting my channel. This is where I share my thoughts, feedback on tech items or gadgets that I use or pique my interest. Recently, I was browsing around one of the photography shops here in Singapore. It's called Rice Ball Photography and a compact tripod actually caught my eye. I wasn't looking for another tabletop tripod but I just had to have a look at this one because it really looked nice and I was even more impressed with how or what it can actually provide. So I got the Ioka CMP 163C now i'm not familiar with the brand so if you guys are familiar with it that, that's good but i wasn't familiar with the brand but it really caught my eye because i really like how it looked it's just clean matte finish and it's quite light because it's carbon fiber now the ioka cmp 163c comes with the tabletop tripod and you do get an extension pole and it also goes with two allen or hex keys and a carrying pouch. So the Ayoka CMP163 is made of carbon fiber and it boasts of eight layers according to the spec sheet. And along with the ball head, which is the KB20, it weighs 0.44 kilograms. What I like about this Ayoka CMP163C is that it's a tabletop tripod, but the legs can actually extend out. And it starts with the tabletop tripod height of 24 centimeters, but it grows to 40 centimeters when you extend everything here. But it doesn't stop there. You can add this pole, which is the center column, and make it reach up to 71 centimeters. So apart from the wide range of the height that this tripod can provide you, it does have different stands that you can utilize by pulling up this button and moving it this way, or you can utilize the different steps that it has. So if you want it to lie flat on your table, you can just unbuckle and reclip everything and it forms as such. This brings me to one of the pain points that I have with this tripod. Now, it's not really a major issue, but more of a preference for me. So with my Surui, the bigger one, the button is spring-loaded, so I don't have to pull it and manually press it down. So you just press it down and then move to the angle or the level that you want and then release the clip. So for me, it would have been better if these were spring-loaded. The second part or the second preference or issue that I have is the bulkhead, though it is quite good because it has separate controls for the bulkhead itself and the swivel or panning mechanism. But it doesn't have any spirit level to give you an idea if everything is level. So this mini tripod handled pretty well when I brought it out last time when I did my shoot. And apart from smartphones, because it does come with a smartphone clamp, you can utilize it for your mirrorless or DSLR cameras. And that's actually the reason why I bought this one, so that I could use it for my travels. Now the spec sheet indicates that it can handle 3 to 5 kilograms of weight. Even with my 24 to 105 millimeter zoom lens on my camera, it was pretty stable. There was no wobbling or any fear that it will topple over. So if you're looking for a tabletop tripod and you want to use it for your travels as well, which is my intention why I picked this up, you may want to look at the Ayoka CMP163C. It is built quite well the finish is nice and the the functionality the feature the amount of height that it can provide you while being able to carry your mirrorless camera or your smartphone it's it's a good buy i got it again for around 110 singapore dollars now i will put the link of the rice ball photography at the bottom of this video but i also had a link 
from AliExpress which has further details and tech specs for this specific tripod. Now in Amazon, I wasn't able to find this specific tripod but the Ayoka brand was also there so you can have a browse. Alright, so if you like the video, please click on the like button and also consider subscribing along with the bell so that you get notified if I post something new. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, or if you have questions, add the comments section below. Until next time guys, thanks again for watching and let's all remember, we're all here to learn. Peace.